You want to be a big drag? Yeah. In Brooklyn, fish are tough. Oh. Look at them smiling. Brooklyn fish. Macho fish. Here, guys. And when these environmentally friendly farmed fish reach your dinner plate, they're delicious. These are our tilapia. They are ready for market size. They're about, they're about two pounds. I was being nice, guys. Meet Dr. Martin Schreibman. You want me to put my speedo on? Distinguished Professor Emeritus of Biology at Brooklyn College and Founder and Director Emeritus of Brooklyn College's Aquatic Research and Environmental Assessment Center. Two and a half million dollar research and development center that studies aquatic organisms, uh, learns about the, what's going on in the environment, in our aquatic environment. Jamaica Bay, Hudson River, um, all, all of those bodies of water. And while Dr. Schreibman and his staff conduct cool research into things like turning algae into biofuel, his fission mission is promoting urban aquaculture. Recirculating aquaculture systems, the state of the art, uh, which provides us a new technology for growing a lot of fish in a limited area, land-based, urban farming, fish farming, where we can provide a product to the community close at hand. We are trying to answer the questions of sustainability, of providing a different kind of food other than using fish to feed fish. Uh, they receive no uh, antibiotics, no hormones, and we're able to market a product in six and a half to seven months, which is incredible. I think we've reached the stage now where the technology has been so developed that we are, uh, that our investment people, venture capitalists, are beginning to look, listen to us. And if you don't like tilapia, the system can be easily converted to grow sea bass, flounder, walleye, rainbow trout. Can I be a member? Our borough president does not like tilapia, but we're gonna grow sole for him. Dover sole, Marty. Brooklyn water is actually excellent for growing fish as well as for uh, baking bagels. I'm, I'm a thorn in the side of seafood restaurants and I do the same thing in, in, in the supermarkets. You go to a restaurant, you ask the waiter, uh, where, where, where did, where did this, this fish I ordered, where does it come from? Uh, I'll ask the chef. Comes back a few minutes later, he buys it from Murray on Canal Street. So where does Murray get it? You know, he gets it from Taiwan, he gets it from where, wherever, uh, you know, uh, Panama, wherever. What a shame that we're, we're subsidizing other countries to grow products to, that we buy back from them. When we're, we're trying to create jobs, we're trying to stimulate our economy, and, and we're, we're this, I don't understand this. I know I'm only a biologist, but I don't understand this form of a economy. But isn't eating too much farmed fish unhealthy? There's very little fish left, left in the ocean. And yes, there, there are faults with fish farming. Fish farming is not all the same. Net pens out in the ocean, floating around with no one to take care of them. Loose stocks, escape stocks, uh, disease of, which will destroy our ocean. Salmon is, is an industry that's gotten a bad rap, and some of it they deserve. You know, they've, they've uh, mutilated a lot of our environment because they're not using uh, appropriate technology. They're addressing those issues. The technology that we're using here, these are closed systems as opposed to open ocean aquaculture. These guys are fed all day long. They're in clean water, unpolluted, no mercury. And I've never found a hypodermic here or, uh, or E. coli. But certainly, farm fish are healthy, they're nutritious, and the only way to go, guys. Ariac is not permitted to sell its tilapia, but they're happy to give it away. Homeless shelters are the major beneficiary. And what's a seafood dinner without a vegetable? That's where hydroponics comes in. Growing plants in nutrient-fortified water without the use of soil. Today, red peppers. Oh my good, this is delicious. Two dollars a pound for you. One's a fish, one's a plant. One eats the other's poo and converts it back into fresh water. Can two organisms live together in the same closed system without driving each other crazy? Aquaponics, the plants derive nutrient material from the fish waste and the plant fish get their clean water back. It just 
does my heart good to think that we can address so many of the problems of the world as far as famine and food production and water quality and availability when we can do it based on the research that we're doing here at Brooklyn College. And this, this makes me feel good. Not just a fishtail. It's not just a fishtail. You said that for the halibut, I know. <laughs>